Taking a look at your top stories now, the mother of a Burke County four-year-old who drowned in a backyard swimming pool last June is now pushing legislation she hopes to bring to South Carolina and all other states. Recently, Izzy's law, named after Izzy Scott, was signed into law by Georgia Governor Brian Kemp. The law would require the Department of Health to develop a model safety plan for private swim lessons. It would require a student to instruct a ratio, a second supervisor on hand, and for parents to be able to attend lessons. Three former Richmond County deputies are no longer facing any charges after allegedly assaulting a man who was arrested after allegedly shooting a deputy. Quincy Cannon, Andrew Acosta and Robert Wilson were all arrested last year after allegedly beating suspect Vernon Craddock Jr. Craddock's accused of shooting Deputy Michael Cole in the face, sending him to the hospital. District Attorney Jared Williams and the Richmond County Clerk's Office say the grand jury issued a no bill, meaning there will not be a trial. One person has died after a motorcycle crash last night in Aiken. Troopers say the crash happened around 9 o'clock on Croft Mill Road at Edgefield Highway. Authorities say the driver drove off the road and died on scene. We're working to learn uh, the name of that victim. The state of South Carolina may soon see a new requirement for people convicted of driving under the influence. A bill was passed by the Senate after agreeing to changes made in the House. If signed, it will now temporarily impose an ignition interlock requirement for all first convictions for DUI and pre-convictions. It now heads to the governor's desk. Another abortion debate could start as early as today at the South Carolina State House. Opponents of, imposing, opponents of imposing more restrictions on the procedure are already preparing. There are more than 1,000 amendments already drafted. They'll be debating a bill that would ban most abortions after around six weeks, the time before opponents argue many women even know they're pregnant. The legislation has already passed the state Senate. Tonight is the Augusta University hooding and commencement ceremony. Pro golfer Kevin Kisner's wife, Brittany Kisner, will be the keynote speaker. This will be at 6 o'clock at the Augusta Marriott Convention Center. Then tomorrow is the undergraduate ceremonies at 10 and 2 o'clock.